So hello, today I want to try out a new form of rearing larvae of Coriotus Coriotus. Uh, why a new form? Because the usual form feeding every second day some uh, cat food pellet can be very time consuming, uh, especially if you have um, a big amount of larvae and you have to be very strict in holding this every second day some of these uh, pellets so that they grow well. So let's uh, see whether we can uh, make another setting and I want to show you what I want to try out and you are a part of the experiment and can uh, see what happens in the next few weeks. That's a box where I have a pair of Coriolis since when was it? 15th of September. So that's Practically, yeah, three months, two months, a little bit more. And before already, I took out some larvae here that I, that I keep uh, singly in boxes. And of course now uh, the, the adults, they, they died already a long time ago. So you can see uh, them here. That's the normal fate after about three to four months uh, they die. Here's the female, that is the male here. You know it's a uh, it's one with some white pieces on the elytras too. So but they are nice parents. So now let's have a look what happened in here. So I didn't take them out the last two months and we will find out whether there are some more in here. So let's see. Um, whether we find something. And if yes, I already see some down here. I put some white rotten pieces of wood into the substrate because it seems to animate the female to lay eggs close to these pieces of wood. You see that little hole here? If I go down, I'm sure I will find a larva of Coriotus inside here, but it's probably a bit difficult to go. Oh yeah, here now here it is. Look, she's on the on the side, looking out of this piece of of wood. Let's see, now she's coming out. You see that? Here is she. She was in this little hole here, and probably if we put her back on this little hole, she crawls in also. <laughs> Let's see whether we can prove that. So that's what a lot of rose chavis do, flower beetles. They cover themselves in some kind of wood blocks where they are safe, where they can't be hunted down by uh, bigger animals or, or even uh, a little bit sure that they aren't eaten by their uh, siblings because it's said that uh, Goriotus is uh, cannibalistic. So now we want to see whether this is really true or not. Now this one went back here, we can just put it to the side, but here on the bottom of the box I already see some more larvae. So let's have a look what happened in here and how many they are living together now in this box. And then I will not uh, keep them singly from now on. This is a small SNL. What is it? Uh, 201? Let's see. This is a L1 larva. But um, as you can see, there are some others here. Uh, now that they are quickly diving down into the substrate so that's not very easy that they don't lay on the top of the substrate and wait till you pick them up because that's what they risk in nature too they are eaten by other animals as soon as they as they are exposed so they dive down very quickly in the substrate and now we have to dig them up again and look where they are I've seen some but they are here in the box I think we can empty it so we can put the material just back to the box. Now it's empty to appear. Look, here's another L1. But 
but I've already seen some bigger ones so let's go and have a look how many we will find in here and I, what I will do I will give them some uh, uh, leave them in some pieces of this white rotten wood where they can dig in and and uh, hide and I will put only a big amount of cat food pellets on the top and see whether in two to three months they really decimated each other in this box or they try to to feed together from that uh, source of protein that, that, that they have in the substrate so now where are you? I've seen some of them so where they are they just went quickly this is another one but this is also an L1 but I've seen some bigger ones we will see to find them because L2 they are pretty fast also L3 larvae they are pretty fast so we will find them somewhere down here in the substrate Yeah, it's not, not that easy to find them in here, yeah? And I will do this experiment with two or three boxes, so we have proof that it's working or not, and how it's working with others too. There's another one. Yes, here's another one. There are all, these are all L1 larvae, so I hope that we find some bigger ones, and I think also we have seen some. But it could be an illusion, like with fishing, huh? if you look and see, see a big fish, and if you take them out, it's only like this. So, but, let's see, I thought there should be at least one L2 larvae here. So here. That's it. Then I will take the others away because then we don't want to endanger them here. Put a little bit back in the substrate here. That's the L2. Here. So there, there was no uh, protein food in this box so far. Just the normal flake soil substrate with a little bit of sand and leaves and nothing else so uh, they they can't feed on proteins now and let's see uh, what they do and how we can try to give them a good surrounding uh, to go on with their development as I already said I put this piece of wood with the little larva in here back on the substrate in the substrate also these pieces here they just help them co keep cover and now I put back all the material from the box so and now we put the one is already running away here we to put them back on the substrate so that they can dig in I think there are now seven pieces of larvae in this box and what I do I just place it in like this and also like this And I put the cat food pellet on top of this little pieces of bark. So we will see whether they can crawl up to this bark and take down the cat food pellets from the top of this uh, pieces of bark. And now I don't touch them anymore for two months and then we go back and have a look what happened in the box. So this could be enough food for about seven larvae to become really big and for only one if only one is left because they are cannibalistic. Um, we will see what, what they do. So come back and see in about two months. Thanks for watching.